Now the city of Albuquerque is exploring every option to battle a rape kit backlog that has plagued APD. One idea is to hire more DNA technicians, but Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton found out the turnover for that job is very high within the department. Yeah, Shelly, and city councilors want to figure out how to keep those technicians around, especially if they're going to be bringing more in. Right now, Albuquerque police is wrestling with the massive rape kit backlog. An estimated 3,200 kits are waiting to be processed. The department wants to hire more DNA technicians to help, but it won't solve APD's issues with turnover. It's unacceptable, and the fact that we have not been able to chip away at it is concerning. The department has two supervisors, two technicians, and one trainee dedicated to processing rape kits. Officials told us today they want to hire up to six more technicians using grant money and city funds. But the department says it's had trouble keeping technicians in Albuquerque. And APD says it's not because their department is bad. Rather, they say it's a great place to start a career as a DNA technician. Officials say most technicians get experience here, then go to a more lucrative position somewhere else. Councilor Dan Lewis says if the city wants to prevent the backlog from growing, it has to find a way to keep technicians around. Part of it is to really look at the salaries that we're paying right now and see how can we be more competitive so that we can retain uh, more qualified technicians. Lewis sponsored a study that counselors just approved. Its aim is to dig up hard evidence on how best to increase technician retention. Meanwhile, APD will keep doing its best with what it has. Another initiative is being pushed by the council to have all kits from here on out sent to labs within 10 days and tested within 90 days. And counselors are expected to vote on that very soon.